Welcome back to the Morning Blend. Recent concerns about the coronavirus and new guidelines have left a lot of families with no choice but to stay home with their children to avoid exposure. If they, they could, kids, of course, would be glued to their screens all day and night, which doesn't make parents happy. That's right. Joining us now via Skype with some screen-free ways to keep them busy is lifestyle and parenting expert Amanda Mushro. Good morning, Amanda. Good morning. How are you doing today? We are doing great. Thank you so much for joining us. I think parents are probably already at their wits end a little bit with with dealing with home time, trying to homeschool, keep kids active and busy and learning, and they want to keep them off their screens. Right, this is a whole new world for all of us, and we are just trying to figure it out, trying to be creative, sort of like throwing things at the wall and see what sticks, right? So I've got a few ideas of how to keep your kids entertained and engaged, so hopefully they're happy and mom and dad are happy. Hey, maybe we can get some work done in the mix of all of this. So hopefully some of these ideas help parents. I love that, and I think people especially love arts and crafts. I'm a big fan of arts and crafts, and even if you're not a super crafty person, head over to Pinterest, check out what other people are creating. You do not have to reinvent the wheel. That's what I love about all of these ideas. Other people have done all the heavy lifting for you, and maybe you have to put a few things together. So the other day I was trying to get some work done. I just had my kids uh, go onto kids YouTube. So even though they had their screen, we were looking at art tutorials, and they were step-by-step -step how to draw characters like Baby Yoda and these cute little cartoon characters. So they were engaged, they were being creative, but it wasn't just sort of like these mindless things that they were watching. And we had a really fun family movie night. And we made our own TV projector because even though times are really crazy, I like the idea of let's make some positive family memories. So you can make your own TV projector by just taking a box. I grabbed an Amazon box here and you're just going to put a magnifying glass in the bottom of the box here. So I just cut a hole, put the magnifying glass. You're gonna grab your phone, put on a movie or a show, lock your screen, flip it upside down and put it in the box and you have an instant projector. So I just hung a sheet up, <clears throat> excuse me, I just hung a sheet up. The kids watched a movie, it was fun, it was different. And it was just a, a way to make these positive memories out of a, a box and a magnifying glass. That's cute. That is so I like cool. that. I mean, that so is super fun, creative. So and That's another one that you probably want to do again and again. And I also really like the idea of getting creative, you know, and I keep telling my kids, this is our art lesson. So a really fun toy that we have been playing with is the Smart Pixelator. So basically what it's going to do is it, it works with an app and it's going to show different images on the screen. And then they use these tiny little beads to make these really cool 3D and 2D figures. This is great for just creative thinking and fine motor skills. My daughter made this the other day. I was able to clean the kitchen. It was glorious. She was entertained. Mama got to clean the kitchen. It was a win-win for everybody. <laughs> I love it. I know a lot of families like to play games. Do you have any ideas there? Yeah, I love board games. And, and it doesn't have to be just something that you do at night. The other day, we were attempting fourth grade math with my son. It was not going well. So I said, you know what, let's just, let's just have a board game break break out your old games, the one you loved as kids, the one your kids love, have some fun, just kind of blow off steam. I do have a lot of parents, uh, friends that are um, parents of teens and tweens, and they're like, what am I gonna do with these kids? This is a really fun game for your older kids. It's called, How Do You See the World? It's basically a card game that asks questions to have thought-provoking conversations with your older kids. So something like, describe the best meal you've ever shared, or in one minute, tell the story of you. Just really interesting questions. You can do it with kids of all ages. It's just a fun way to sort of get talking and communicating and blow off some steam because you know we're stressed and our kids are stressed too. This is just as hard for them as it is for us. So just a really fun way to blow off some steam and have some fun. That's true. There's other toys that work well, like steam toys, you know, things that help with the science, technology, right? There are ways to incorporate that. Yeah, I like the idea of they're playing, they're learning, but they're also having fun. So two different ones that I have here. This one is Creato, and this is a light up crafting kit. So basically, it is going to give you all of these different pieces and you can construct a really fun, this one is this cute elephant that my uh, son has already claimed. It has a light up, it has lights inside. What I also like about Creato is even oh, though cool. it's designed, isn't it, how cute is that? And it's so like a cute. cute little night like that. 
It also, it will give you the directions for the main design, but then it gives you four other de designs too. So if they get bored with this, there's directions to make a kangaroo and then to make like a fox and just, so it's just building, creating, using creativity and just, again, off of those screens and having some fun. I and love then, these course, ideas. Thank you so yeah. much for joining us. We really appreciate your time, Amanda. Thank you so much for having me. A absolutely. Such cute ideas. You can so do those cute. at home. I think it's fantastic. And to connect with Amanda or find any of the ideas she mentioned, we provided links on our website. You can go to themorningblend.com to find out more about that.